Hello guys, fellow Vault Dwellers and Fallout 4 fans. Thanks very much for joining me, Darth Nick, once again with another Fallout 4 video. Yeah, you guessed it. I've been messing around with the Vault some more and uh, just wanted to show you guys what we've been up to over here. And more importantly, I've discovered a bit of a secret source of water that we can make the most of. This is my... Uh, overseer's office as you can see it's quite extensively decked out at the moment that's my vault so we'll head on over to where I was going to take you uh, I might take my vault tech issue power armor actually Got with me, my friend Nick Valentine. Okay, so we're gonna have to call the lift here. There we go. Head on down to the first floor. Sounds like Nick just fell off the edge. <laughs> okay, so this vault's still under construction, as you can see. It's getting there, though. It's getting there. Yeah, I found a source of water, um, a gigantic vault tech water purifier. What's this fella doing? He's not wearing his regulation uh, Volt 88 Volt suit. I was glad to help out. I can't argue with your time. Right. Anyway, we appreciate that. Uh -huh. Alright. So what you're going to want to do is just to orientate yourselves. Through there is the original entrance to the vault. That doorway in the distance. And over here we have the two railway tunnels that you excavate as part of the Exploring Vault 88. And you're just going to want to run down here, follow the railway tracks, branches off here, one way is to the right, I think that goes to some uranium mines, and the other way, which is the way we want to go, branches off to the left. And down here, there's a huge cavern. And in the distance, you can see the Vault Tech water purifying device. Some poor sods being here before us. A dead body somewhere. There he is. Anyway, so here it is, the water purifier. If you first highlight it, let's get the thing up, there we go. You actually highlight the thing, there. It doesn't give you any options to do anything with it. Usually it's a scrap or what have you. They have a Vault Tech water pump. It takes 20 power and produces 100 water. So, what we're going to do is we're going to wire that bad boy up and get it to produce some free water for us. So, I'm going to bang down the generator. In this case, I'm going to use the Vault Tech Super Reactor. I've got more than enough materials to make one. Let's stick that down there. Let's get out of the power armor. Make sure that we don't sink. And we're going to want to go into the build menu and link this power source up with the water. Yeah. 
There we go. You'll see there my build menu went from zero water to a hundred. Lovely. And that will start producing purified water bottles into your workshops, into your workbench. So, and just to let you guys know, this is the east sector chamber, the red workbench. You'll have been in here before if you've uh, been scrapping and exploring the uh, cave system. Okay, and luckily as well, we can also stick down a shit ton of water purifiers in here because there's plenty of room, plenty of fresh water. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll get what I like to call a little water farm going. Stick another one in there. Link them all together. Unfortunately, the Voltec water purifier isn't something that you can craft, so I think you, you only get this one shot at it. If for any reason it gets destroyed or damaged, um, you won't be able to repair it, as you can so see from me um, using the build menu there. I didn't even highlight as something that I can actually attach a wire to. Alright, stick another water purifier down there. One more. Get out to 300 water. Oh, there, yeah, I got it. Okay. So, there we have it. There's a lot more room for water purifiers in this cavern. Could fit quite a few, I would imagine, in here. It's going to be equal to or greater than possibly Sanctuary if you can fit enough of them in. I'll stick another one in there, look at that, lovely. And you can stick these in anywhere because they will hopefully attach directly to this water purifier device, the big one. Maybe not. But anyway, you get the idea. Grab the power armor now. Head back to the main vault. Yeah, and that's the uh, that's a secret water source that you can get in Vault 88 in the caverns at the end of the railway, which I believe is. Out of west, southwest. Okay. So let's head back over into our vault, our partially formed vault. See, I've also been using these railway railway uh, tunnels for uh, farming at the moment, and. Anyway. We're going to go ahead and go back to the overseer's office up on the third floor or fourth floor and uh, just dump our power armor up here. Well, 
lovely. Right, we're going to sleep for 24 hours. That should give the water purifiers time to fill up with a few bottles of water into our workshop. And we'll be able to check that. See how much we get in a day. Of course, the amount of water you'll receive will also be dependent on the happiness within the settlement. The happier the settlement, the closer to 100%, the closer to 100% of the water you get. If you've only got 50% happiness, they'll only produce 50-ish percent of the water. The reason it's so important to get these waters is because, of course, Oh, what's happened? Got to defend Covenant and Coastal Cottage, Jesus. If you can get these water for free from the water purifier, then you're automatically making money for, for nothing. And you can use it as cash. There we go, 548 bottles of water. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's great of the overseer to give us breaks like this, huh? So anyway, thanks very much for watching. Anyway, I just wanted to see. It's been an absolute pleasure. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll be back with more videos um, coming up soon. But yeah, thanks for tuning in and. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Look alive. Peace.